This video is sponsored by Shop Charlie. They have some of the best vintage flip phones and smartphones. So if you're looking for an Apple iPhone 2G, 3G, 3GS, iPhone 4, or 4S, they got you covered. They got all sorts of inventory and all sorts of different variations. So go check them out in the description down below and use my code to save 10% off your order. Hey everyone, today we'll be jailbreaking the Apple iPhone 2G first generation on our Mac OS. For starters, we will have to be on either version 3.12 or 3.13. If you haven't already backed up your iPhone, go ahead and do that on your iTunes and then update to 3.13 or 3.12. For this demonstration, I will be using my iMac 27 inch mid 2010 running High Sierra version 10.13.6. Let's begin by connecting our iPhone to our iMac. The first link in the description will take you to the unarchiver.com. This is a great program that allows us to open our zip files and extract them right away. So if you don't have any extracting program, make sure to download and install this on your computer. The second link in the description will take you to the bigboss.org website. And from here, we're gonna download the Spirit program and you want to click on the Apple icon. Once it's finished downloading, you want to show in Finder and double click on the zip file. You should now see the Spirit application ready to go. This program only works if your iPhone is activated, so you will need some type of blank SIM card so you can bypass that. And once you get to the home screen with the icons, you should be good to go. Start the Spirit application by double clicking and you should get an error message saying that it cannot be opened because it is from an unidentified developer. So what we're going to have to do is go into our preferences. We can access the system preferences by going to the Apple icon on the upper left hand corner. And from there we're going to go into the security and privacy. On the first tab, general, we will see the allow apps downloaded from at the bottom. And what we want to do is enable the App Store and Identify Developers. And from there you can unlock your settings and change that. And then open anyway for the spirit that was just blocked. You will get prompted by two messages. The first one saying, are you sure you want to open it? Just say yes or open. And then from there it will say that the program is not optimized. Just go ahead and click OK. Now we can actually begin jailbreaking your device. So make sure that you do not touch it during this process and it's fully connected to the PC and make sure you close out iTunes. The program should identify your iPhone as iPhone 2G followed by the iOS that's installed on your device. Once you're ready to go, click on jailbreak and the program will begin to jailbreak your device. So you can sit back, relax, and look at the amazing jailbreak that's happening to your iPhone. After it's finished installing, you should now see Cydia on your home screen. Before we go any further, I wanted to show you one of my 2Gs that's already jailbroken and unlocked. This one is sitting on version 3.12 and I'm using a live T-Mobile SIM card which is working perfectly fine and I'm going to transition my SIM cards from the one that we're jailbreaking right now and that way you guys will see the entire change of the whole process of unlocking your device. When you're using a different type of SIM card you will get two results. The first one being one bar at the top of your screen or saying no service. So that means that our iPhone is not unlocked yet. So I wanted to show you guys to make sure that you'll see that this method actually works. 
We can now begin getting Cydia set up. So the first thing we're gonna do is go into our settings and go into general. From here, go down to auto unlock and change that to never. Head back over to your main menu settings and enable your Wi-Fi connection. Head back to your home screen and launch Cydia. This will take some time to update so it's going to be reorganizing and it will automatically close when it's done. This process takes about 5 to 10 minutes so you're just going to have to be patient. After your device reboots, relaunch Cydia and you should now see an option to choose a user. You can either be a user, normal user, graphical only, hacker with command line or developer with no filters. I chose user for this demonstration just to be safe. After you choose your option, Cydia will start downloading all sorts of different files and packages and we don't want to touch anything and wait for it to finish. After Cydia finishes downloading all the files, you will be prompted to choose one of the following, either Upgrade Essential, Complete Upgrade, or Ignore. We want to choose Complete Upgrade. Next, we want to hit Confirm on the upper right hand corner. After you hit the Confirm button, it will start running and downloading and installing all the different packages on your device. So you will be prompted by several error uh, windows, error messages, all you wanna do is just hit OK and let Cydia continue to install these files. It's very important that you do not power down or touch anything on the screen besides uh, the messages that prompt up to hit OK. Once Cydia finishes installing all the files, your device will reboot. What we wanna do is go back to Cydia and relaunch the application. While Cydia is loading, you don't want to touch the cancel, close, or reload button at the very top. Just be patient and let the Cydia application load all of its files and wait for the menus to pop up at the bottom. We will now fix Cydia so that way everything can load up properly. We're going to go into our sources options at the bottom. Next we want to hit edit at the top. Then we're going to hit add and you will be prompted to type in a URL. We'll type in the following and that is cydia.invoxyplaygames.uk After hitting the add source button, the application will try to verify the URL and if you typed everything in correctly, you will be brought to another screen. Here you will see the network error and unable to load. So all we have to do is just wait. After 10, 15 seconds, if you don't see a loading pop-up on the middle of the screen, you want to hit the reload at the top right hand corner. After hitting the reload button, you should see the reloading data pop up on the screen. That means that Cydia is downloading a specific source or a specific application and we don't want to touch anything and wait for it to finish. After Cydia reloads, you will see a new source called IPG's Cydia repo. We want to hit that and enter into that source. Next, tap on all packages and hit Cydia HTT patch. You will see a network error and unable to load, but just hit the install button at the very top. Next, hit confirm and wait for Cydia to install this tweak. After your iPhone reboots, we want to relaunch Cydia. This time you should have a fully working Cydia application. Now we're going to unlock our device, so hit the search button at the bottom. 
on the search bar we want to type in boot neuter it does take a couple minutes before we see any results so we're just gonna have to wait after your results show up you want to select the boot neuter this is an official dev team unlocker for 2.0 firmware Install the application and this should take a couple of minutes. After your iPhone reboots, you should see the boot neuter application. Go ahead and launch it. If you do get an error like I did here, just hit OK and relaunch boot neuter. After boot neuter recognizes your device, you want to switch on under neuter and also on under unlock. After hitting flash, if you do get a reboot message, just hit reboot first. After reboot, relaunch boot neuter and select neuter to on and also unlock to on and hit flash. The application will now begin to flash your device so it's very critical not to touch the sleep button, home button or anything. You just want to leave your device alone until it finishes. If everything went smoothly you should now see a success window pop up. What we want to do now is reboot the device. After you reboot, you should now have a fully functional unlocked iPhone 2G. Congratulations. And that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And make sure to follow my playlist in the description down below, where I'll be adding all sorts of different videos on how to hack several different iPhones, and also looking into the different tweaks and applications under Cydia. So, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.